Hello and welcome, this is Chris Wren and today I'm going to be showing you a text AR prototype I was playing around with. Uh, yesterday I got obsessed with, uh, Vuforia has got a text recognition um, demonstration that I was playing around with. And I said, okay, what can I do with this? And I came up with some pretty cool ideas, but um, I ran into a wall today, so I'm kind of done with it for at least uh, probably from here until the conference. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, but anyway, I tried to pair it up with this plugin called TTF Text, which takes 2D text and generates 3D objects based on those, um, which you can then manipulate and do things with. Um, I'll kind of keep, I, I had a few features that I really wanted to do that I didn't get to because of some of the limitations I ran into. Uh, but this is an awesome plugin. It generates like beautiful 3D models um, that you can then put rigid bodies on. You can do whatever you want with. Um, it was developed by these two guys, Olivier Blanc and Bertrand Nouvelle, about uh, a year ago. I think is the last time they really supported it. Um, they have, I don't know if it's a company or what, but you can find it at computerdreams.org. And it's also on the Unity Asset Store. Um, and it looks like they used to have a pro version, but they stopped supporting it. So they're probably on to bigger and better things. Uh, but thank you anyway. That was a really awesome plugin I got to play with the last day or so. Um, it unfortunately uses a lot of the Unity Editor assembler. So when you build, it, it fails because it needs a DLL that it's not allowed to use. Um, anyway, so what we're going to do today, I'm going to show you, I have a basic wireless webcam. And I'm going to use the Unity Editor because I can't do builds. So I'm just going to show it to you in the editor. And the way this works, uh, the before you toolkit usually lets you like um, recognize really a small amount of text at a time. Um, but I kind of tinkered with a few things just to see what it could do. And so in this case, I'm looking at just a you know a, a sample from the Declaration of Independence, and I printed it out. I didn't know what, what the rules were, so I just tried to use you know a sans serif font and a, you know something that'd be easy to read. Um, anyway, so what happens is I'm going to put my I'm going to have my camera the video looking at um, the screen here so you can see what my screen's doing and I'm going to have my webcam which is part of this app uh, looking at the piece of paper and so you see on my screen after a second or two it'll actually pick up all these words which is great and so you see orange boxes appear around them so I now have them if you look at unity I've got like a whole list of um, these objects that it's now created as a result of finding those words and so I'm going to click all of them. And what happens is this plugin, the TTF text plugin, requires some editor uh, interaction in order to generate this stuff. And so that's one of the reasons why it's not a great executable kind of thing. Um, but anyway, so I've created all these words now. These are 3D words. If I were to open up, for example, the scene view, you would see that I've actually generated um, a bunch of 3D words, like so. So back to the game view. Um, and I didn't know what to do with them. I had a couple ideas, uh, but without the built version, like without an Android build or something, um, it's not quite as cool. Long term, I was thinking like Google Glass would be really neat to just be walking down the street and have it like ripping words off of signs and things and just kind of pu putting those aside for you. Uh, because they're objects, you can do things with these words. You can actually, you know, grab them with something like a leap motion or some other gesture uh, tool and do something with them, snap them together, make sentences, make whatever. Uh, you could think about things like speech to text, text to speech, and actually having like some some literacy uh, applications to this as well. Um, but nonetheless, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to uh, basically show you what I ended up doing with it after I hit the brick wall, which is I blew it up. So um, what I'm going to do is I hooked it up to an image target, and so I'm going to have my I'm going to look at the screen, and like before, I'm going to have my webcam looking at uh, this image target. And when it finds it, it's going to blow up all the Declaration of Independence. So there's my inalienable flying off into space. So that's it. Um, I think there's a lot of really good potential applications for this kind of text software. Um, I think we're, you know, I just hit a wall with this plugin I was playing with today, and I don't have enough time. I really need to get back to my other prototypes before the before the show in a couple weeks. Uh, so with that, uh, I'll leave you with, uh, here's my two camber rig for the Oculus, my Leap Motion. What else do I have over here? There's my tablet, some other things. Anyway, I've got a lot of stuff to do, so I'm going to get back to that. But I did want to show you my text, uh, my text demo before all was said and done. So thanks a lot. Take care.